Hello everyone and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty. Mamzis here. Welcome back to another compilation episode. Since new Princess Peach Showtime game is coming out, I decided to prepare three compilation videos dedicated to Princess Peach for you. So sit back, relax and enjoy this video. We are back with our original gingerbread man cookie decoration character transformation video. And in today's video I am going to transform this giant and absolutely delicious gingerbread man cookie into Princess Peach from the Super Mario Bros movie. Let's talk about the ingredients that we will need for this transformation. Here I have fondant. Next I use my white frosting and pre-made the following colors yellow hot pink light pink and peachy color for the skin here are the gel colors that I will need pink blue black and golden I have my baking tools as well as black edible marker variety of candies for decoration here's some more I have a baking tray and the cookie <laughs> and as I always say the same phrase over and over don't forget to protect your working space since this activity can get quite sticky and messy. Alright, let's remove this cookie out of the package. I want to smell it. Let me smell it. Y'all want to smell it? Oh, it smells so gingery. It smells good. So I actually have different shapes of gingerbread cookies that um, we have in our studio. As you see, this one is different than this one, same size, a little actually taller. Uh, and the reason why I decided to go with this shape because Princess Peach has a beautiful gown. So I think this shape of the cookie will work better for this particular character. I usually start decorating my cookie uh, with the shoes, with the feet, but Princess Peach's dress is so long that we cannot even see her shoes. Let's put the cookie aside and do some fondant work. So little story, growing up I've never really done much cooking or baking. <laughs> I do now, but when I was a kid I haven't done that. But growing up again, I have been going to art school and um, this fondant really reminds me of clay uh, and I just love playing with it. <laughs> Okay, so we do need uh, quite a lot of fondant because I'm pretty much going to be making her entire dress out of fondant. We are going to be using my little uh, rolling tool and once the dress is nice and flat, I'm going to cut out the shape of Princess Peach's beautiful gown. All right, looking better. As you see, we have a nice and flat surface. I'm placing cookie right next to this piece of fondant just to make sure we have the right proportions. Next I'm placing a cookie on top and I'm gonna use my uh, little tool, let's go with this knife and um, carefully mark the lines, the bottom of the dress, okay, and then dress is gonna go like that, same on the other side. And I'm taking another tool just to mark where her collar is gonna go. And now I'm going to cut out the shape of her dress by following the markings. Next I'm gonna remove all the excess of this fondant and we will definitely need to use it in a little bit. So this is the next step what I'm gonna do. I do not just wanna place the fondant down because it will be drooping right here on the sides. So I'm taking the excess of the fondant shaping it into like a sausages <laughs> and uh, and filling all the areas where the fondant dress will possibly droop down. All right, I think it looks good. Now I am going to go ahead and place the dress on top. Ooh, okay then. <laughs> Oops, I'm not sure what exactly happened here, but I am clearly a little bit 
off. So it looks like I am not going to need the fondant on the sides and I'm just going to press it down, extend it a little bit longer here but even though we don't really need to extend it right here because I will be using lots of frosting to fill in all of those areas so I think we are actually pretty good. Now is the fun part, I'm going to paint the base of her dress with this light pink color frosting. Now I'm going to carefully spread this frosting and oh, this is so satisfying. I love it. Next, I'm going to use this hot pink color frosting and it matches my nails very nicely. <laughs> and I'm going to use it to paint the bottom of her dress as well as uh, center details, those like two puffs, dress curtains, I'm not quite sure what they are called, as well as her sleeves. I'm not going to be touching the bottom, I like the way it looks. And the center looks pretty good too, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit on the sides. So let's go ahead and add her white gloves then. And I'm gonna add more hot pink color right here. Taking my rounded tool and shaping the frosting. I do want to add some design, but then I'm nervous because I'm not sure if it's going to ruin the dress. See what I can come up with. I'm gonna use this hot pink gel to add her corset. Ooh, that's a lot of pink color. <laughs> Let's take a break from pink color and add her face next. And I'll be using this peachy color frosting to make a super satisfying swirl. Okay, let's spread it next. We finished with the face for now and now I'm going back in with this hot pink frosting to add her color. I decided to go ahead and add some more details using these light pink and hot pink hearts. And I'm gonna repeat the same step, but with hot pink hearts, and I'm going to apply them to the center of her dress. All right, it's time to add Princess Peach's jewel on her dress. And I know it's funny, but for that jewel, I will be using this candy uh, that is actually Christmas light bulb, but it works because it is the same color. I may add a little bit of uh, gold around it. Hopefully we can see this gold color because it's pretty sheer. Let's find out. I actually like it. And on top, I'm going to add some of these golden candies. Looking good. Okay, let's go ahead uh, put away our tray with the cookie and I am gonna use some more fondant and create eyes for Princess Peach. I kind of think that maybe I made them way too large. Hmm, let's add her little button nose and lips and then we'll figure it out. 
So I think as of right now, we should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and add her lashes and then blue color eyes and we shall see. Carefully, I'm going to add her brows. And also, I do want to add her lashes. Lots of steps, but we have to take them all to make sure she looks perfect. So I'm gonna wait a little bit uh, before I add black into her eyes as well as white sprinkle as a light reflection. Her hair will consist of several pieces and then we also need to make her crown. All right, so this is what I have so far. I have this piece. That I think gonna work pretty good right here. So I'm gonna carefully place it down. And then I also have this piece that I'm gonna go under as well as this one. And then after that, I'm going to put her crown right here. All right, adding a few more hair pieces. This one is gonna go under. Same with this part. Then I'm gonna cut out the excess a little bit. We don't need that much hair on the side. And she also has hair going down her face right here. And on the opposite side. There we go. I'm gonna add one more detail before we start painting. Her hair is very long, so I'm going to add a little bit more hair on the bottom right here. All right, let's go ahead and start painting her hair. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and spread the frosting everywhere where I just applied it around her head. Looking good. After this, I'm gonna go ahead and finish her eyes. I'll use these two snowflakes for the light reflection in her eyes. And next, I'll paint her crown golden color. I will also decorate it with golden candies. I will add a red gummy candy for the gem in the center of her tiara and two blue candies as two blue crystals and blue chocolate candies as her earrings. And I think Princess Peach as a gingerbread man cookie from the Super Mario Bros. movie looks absolutely fantastic. And today we are going to color Princess Peach. I have my colorful markers prepared. Here are my swatch cards and I printed the picture of Princess Peach. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start by coloring her dress. Next, we need the perfect bubblegum pink color to color the bottom of her dress as well as the corset part. Using a light pale pink color for this portion of the dress. For her silk gloves, I will be using the lightest shade of gray that I have just to add the shadows.
The same pale light pink color goes on her belt. And color of her dress. This is a perfect blue color for the jewel on her dress, her earrings, jewels on her tiara and her eyes. Next, let's go ahead and color her skin. Next, let's color her lips and move on to her hair. So in cartoon computer game version, her hair is yellow. However, in the movie version, her hair looks more realistic. So it's not quite as bright yellow, but more blonde looking. I think these two colors will do a trick. We almost finished, let's go ahead and color this gorgeous gem in the center of her crown, tiara. And with my golden marker, I'm going to finish coloring her tiara and her jewel on her dress. And we are finished. Here is Princess Peach from the Super Mario Bros. movie. Today we are going to be creating characters from Mario movie out of these beads and water. I have pink and yellow beads for Princess Peach, green and blue for Luigi, blue and red for Mario, orange, white, brown, black for Big Bad Bowser, as well as some other characters. Here's my tree, images with different characters, here's the little water applicator, the beads. The only thing that is missing is a special bead pan, but that's okay because I can just use my fingers. The first character that I want to make out of the beads is Bowser. I'm going to place this image behind and tuck it in behind these plastic holders. Here it is. And now all I have to do is to follow the pattern and match the right colors with it. So I have this little organizing container that can be used for so many different things. And I am going to place the beads inside. Looks like we will need these orange beads. We will also need these gem looking beads, also orange color, a light green, a few black, and a few red for his hair, and a slight yellow for his tummy. His body is finished. Next, let's go ahead and move on to his tummy. Next, I'll add some of these crystal orange beads for his claws and spikes. I just realized that we will also need yellow beads for his mouth area. Crystal 
crystal red for his tongue. Looks like we will also need to use these crystal yellow beads for his, uh, I think it's a spike on his turtle shell. Next, let's continue with a red for his hair. And I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's pouring outside. <laughs> I don't know if my camera is catching that sound of the rain, but my ears are definitely hearing outside rain. And let me tell you, it's raining cats and dogs. Wow, look at that. Oh yeah. Next up is his green turtle shell. A few white spots. And let's finish with black. Let's go ahead, put Bowser aside. And we are going to fill in this water pan with the water. We need this much water according to the instructions. Let's go ahead and spray the beads a few times with water from about 4 inches away. Cover the whole bead design with enough water, otherwise they will not stick together. Let's slowly tilt the tray on the paper towel to absorb the excess water. <laughs> Looks like Bowser had to go number one. <laughs> and next I'm going to let the beads dry for a little bit. All right, while Bowser is finishing up drying, I am going to make Mario out of the beads. Let's start with red beads for his cap and his red shirt. Let's add a few white ones. This is the area where white circle with letter M goes to. And also two more little white beads for his glove. I'm not sure which beads they consider to be skin color. I don't know, just looking at the yellow ones or these ones. I think they mean these ones, but they don't look like it at all. Hmm. Well, I don't have any other color that is close to this color on the picture so I'm just gonna go ahead and make his skin color out of these light yellow beads couple black for his eyes and let's finish with the brown for his mustache shoes and blue for his overalls next let's go ahead and spray everything with water Count till five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's go ahead and remove the excess water on the paper towel. And I'm going to let him dry for a little bit. And we are going to finish with Princess Peach and Luigi. This one will take us a while because we have to make two characters. Since I already have my blue color here, I am going to start this picture with Luigi's overalls. Next, his green hat and green shirt. So we actually ran out of uh, this shade of green. I'm going to finish with this crystal green on top of his hat. And I think I know what I did wrong. Bowser's turtle shell was supposed to be this color. But instead, I used the other green. Going to add a few white ones, just for some details, like uh, the symbol on his cap and his gloves. Next, we have his eyes, his mustache, and his face. This time, I have to use yellow because I ran out of the other color. And two crystal yellow beads for the buttons on his overalls. I can't believe I almost forgot his shoes. So let's move on to peaches, 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 peaches. I just realized something that while I'm adding beads to peach, I can spray some water on Luigi. First, I'm going to add her hair. I actually ran out of yellow beads, so I have to continue with the crystal yellow ones. 
and I even ran out of those too. Okay, so looks like I may need to improvise with some other colors. Let me go ahead and do her tiara first and then we'll see what colors I'm missing and what colors we will need to finish Princess Peach. For skin, I'm gonna use this light pink color. For her dress, I'll use the darker shade of pink. And next, let's go ahead and add these hot pink crystals. At this point, I'm just looking for different leftover beads that I can possibly find. And we're going to finish with these crystal blues for her earrings and necklace. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot her eyes. Oh no, hurry up, two little eyes. Think, I think we have enough water there, but you know what, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. There we go. Now let's count till five. One, two, three, four, five, and there you go. While waiting, I wanted to also show you two more designs, your turtle and a mushroom. And we do have a few more beads left, but at the same time, we run out of quite a few. And that's it for this video. Just a little bit damp. I didn't wait enough time for them to get fully dried, but I just wanted to show each of these characters to you. So this is Mario, and here's Luigi. Oh, Luigi is literally wet on the other side. And... Princess Peach, my child Bowser is right here. I think it was super relaxing personally for me to create these characters. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.